coming up next. Are they indeed locked in football here in that state of New York as you get a look inside Rocket Highmark Stadium? This will be fielded inside the five. And he'll get it up just past the 20 as his guys will go to work at the 21-yard line. Here is Tua Tungavailoa heading out to lead this Miami offense. Okay, I thought there was something to build on in last week's game by his performance. I thought he played fairly well overall. The, the numbers won't knock your socks off. Two touchdown passes and an interception. The bottom line, though, they lost. Yeah. How does he eliminate that one interception, continue to take care of the ball, and maybe increase the number of times he puts the ball in the end zone with a receiver? Throwing to start here is Tua. On the right side open is Gasicki. Give him three there on the first play of the game, and it's second down. But Charles, as we've covered, they've already clinched their spot in the postseason, so now they just want to avoid adding any additional names to this list before the postseason begins. Terrific observation because trying to move up a little spot, I don't know if it's worth it if you're trying to play games Get them healthy, get ready for the playoffs, make your move then. Well, Charles, look, and this is probably a harbinger of things to come. He's got such trust in his tight end, and they're on back-to-back -back plays. We're seeing that on display. And when they have that kind of trust, they're not as worried about what the coverage is because they feel like they know each other so well. They make the subtle move downfield, and the ball will end up in the right spot. And by the way, Parker, what's harbinger mean? Help me out. Well, you're the one that taught me that a few years ago, so I'll have to lean on you for that. I'm just, I'm just hoping it fit into the sentence correctly. I must have got it from my word of the day calendar on my desk. The Miami first down, that one going for a gain of 11. <laughs> I got a kick out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route? Definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Play action, now it's Tua. That's complete to his tight end, Mike Kosicki. That helps the completion percentage, but not much else, and now it's third and ten. From the gun, it's Tua. Oh, this is intercepted, intended for Hill. Picked off by Mike Hilton. And the Bills are going to take possession of the football. So far this season, this defense has had their issues against the pass, so that's a great sign for them to get the early pick. Yeah, confidence builder for them and an absolute shock for the quarterback because he went into it. He saw the numbers we saw. He watched them on tape. I think he came into this one thinking this is going to be a big day, and it very well could be, but early in this one, advantage defense. Allen now on first down. And the coverage terrific there as that's knocked down and incomplete. A second and ten, a very chilly day here, but no snow. And I got to say, if it's going to be this cold, I want snow. You should see Charles' face. He's looking at me like I'm crazy. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. And again, it's Allen. Allen hit. He lost the football. And this is picked up by the Dolphins. And his guys are going to take over at the 39-yard line. Good starting field position for the Dolphins as they have it first and 10 at the 39-yard line. They'll start this drive out, on, and he fumbled it. It's on the ground. And they'll start with great field position at the 41-yard line. Here's Allen following the fumble recovery. And he'll be taken down here just shy of the 30. 
don't care who you put on him, he's going to be a handful of one-on-one -on -one throws. Yeah, right now, you're right. They're in man-to-man, -man, maybe need some safety help. I would say that'd be a good idea. Double-team him somehow. I'm going to have to make someone else beat me rather than let him shred my defense. Now this one to his tight end out on the right side. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. The Bills at 13-2 and two on the year. Now they've gone a full couple of months now since their last loss. Winners of eight in a row. And we always talk about how a team has to play complementary football in order to really be a good squad. But I think in this league, if your offense isn't playing really well as this one is, you're not going to run off this kind of a streak. Now Allen, he's got the hookup with Diggs. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. That's good for a Buffalo Bills. And they'll turn to the power game to try to get in. And he is into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. It's the fullback. His eighth rushing touchdown on the year. And the Bills use the early turnover to get on the board first here in this one. Crew able to connect on the extra point. And it's now a 7-0 game. After the touchdown, Cook now to kick this one away. Taken in at the 3. And he returns this to the 22. Out comes the Miami offensive unit now. They get set to take over. As we grind toward the end of the season here, and they haven't had the season that they had hoped, so let me ask you to play GM. Where might they look to make some changes? I think when you look into the upcoming draft, think hard about them drafting multiple offensive linemen. They've got to get stouter up front. And as a GM always tells me, Charles, this is a big boy league, and big people always end up winning games for you. And not a whole lot there. Maybe a yard to the 27. Tua sets up to pass it. And this is going to be incomplete. The Dolphins will send out the punter now as he's on a punt for the first time this afternoon. He punted four times in the loss last week as he gets this one away here. There's Robinson showing the flash. It's a 45-yard punt and eight on the return. And the Bills will take over the football with a first and ten. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. And they, on paper, Charles, no doubt they have the edge in this one. They are sitting with the AFC elite, and on the other side, they're down toward the bottom of the AFC. But you know what they say, especially at this point in the season, watch out for a trap game. And in doing so, I would take my game plan and condense it. I would rely on my fundamentals, the fact that my players are probably just better, and not try and do too much, do just enough to win the game. And on the other side of the field, I'm doing everything. Every trick play I can think of, every different formation, you name it, I'm throwing it at them in order to try and get the upset win. Now the throw on third down, knocked away and incomplete. A cook now on to punt as he gets this one away. And a nice special teams job here. This is going to be down inside the 10 at the 7-yard line. I absolutely love the flexibility of these punters. Their leg drive, able to get it way up in the air, and that allows the punt team to get down there and down it inside the 10 because they've had some time. They'll start on the ground here on first down, and he's up past the 10 to about the 12. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Here's Tongue of Iloa to throw. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And brought down, but not before they're able to get it up to the 25. That one good for 13 at a Dolphin first down. They ran that one well. And not only did they pick up a nice chunk of yardage on the screen, they sent a message to the defense. Rush the passer all you want, but you better be careful. We can hit you going back the other direction. Here's Tonga Bailoa on first and 10. And it's incomplete. Boy, he doesn't drop many like that one. Second down. To throw on second and ten. Tua. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there. Trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Throwing his tongue of Iloa on third down here. He finds his man complete. That's Black. 
And he is going to have the Dolphins first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn it into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Two on a throw again. That one caught by Tyreek Hill. And he's got a first down as the tackle made at the Bills' 45-yard line. A good pick up there of 20 yards. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. Oh, looking for Waddle, but it's intercepted. Try! And he is going to score. It's a pick six and a Bills touchdown. An excellent play there, CD, on the pick six. And I think they, were they a nickel? Did they have an extra DB out there? Yeah, Brandon, I think they went standard nickel, not the uh, Buffalo, as teams like to call it, meaning three safeties for big nickel. They just wanted to take one of the quarterback's throwing lanes, and that's exactly what they did and came through with a big-time pick six. Extra point by Koo, up and good. And it's now 14 to nothing. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. Takes it at the seven. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. They find themselves in a good size hole here, in a good size hole early on in this game as they come up on first down. And the Bills are going to get him as he goes down. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. Now a handoff up the middle. Fulton. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. Looking to pass to him. He is going to find Hill here. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Now Tua. And this is dropped. Oh, it's incomplete. He had a big gainer in his sights, but he could not reel it in. On second down now. Samson and this time he's going backwards so after the no gain on the last attempt here they get him behind the line an extra defensive back here for the Bills on third down tug of Iloa working out of the gun over the middle complete it's black and they're going to mark him down short maybe by about a yard if that They'll try and run for it. And he gets it to the 34. Good enough for the first. Give them credit. They knew what they wanted to dial up on fourth. They executed it for nine yards, and the offense stays out there. They'll run on first down. Samson. And yeah, boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. Team nothing the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. It's Dolphins football here as we begin the second quarter. As they've got it with a second and ten. Throwing now is Chug of Iloa. This one complete to Jalen Waddle. Down inside the ten. Touchdown, Dolphins. 
Jalen Waddle hitting double digits with his 10th touchdown of the season. And the Dolphins have got it back to within a score. The extra point up and good. And that'll make our score 14 to 7. The kicking team out for Miami as they will send this one away. Taken in at the three. And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. And here come the Bills. Obviously not the intended goal last drive. They had to punt the football, but still, they've got the lead here and now a chance to add on to that lead if they can get points on this drive. First and 10 upcoming. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Davis. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. To throw, it's Allen being chased out left. And his throw is going to be incomplete. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. Now Allen. Middle of the field, it's Robinson. And he is going to have a Bills first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Allen going to give this one to Singletary. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Singletary again. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. Defensively, he has been a presence in their backfield in the first half. Had a sack earlier, and now he comes up with a big tackle for a loss. Throwing his Allen on third. Man open here is Jones. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 33. They'll run on first down with Singletary. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. From the 30 on second down, Allen flushed out right. Oh, that'll be incomplete. Oh, he took a shot as he let that go. And it's going to bring up a third down. Allen from the gun on third down. And he's going to have the hook up to Gage. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 16. 14 yards, and the Bills will get a new set of downs. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Working out of the shotgun. Here's Allen. It's caught on the right side by Robinson. And he's going to be marked down just outside the 10. Working with second and five now. Now Allen again. Looking end zone, but it's incomplete. Intended target on that one, Russell Gage. And it's third and five. That pass just a little bit off. It looked like maybe he tried to force it in there. Game speed, always different, no matter what you do in practice. Can't simulate it, right? So your decision-making, everything has to be a little bit quicker. Sometimes it can throw you off until you adjust. And they'll let the fullback try and take him home. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. A great effort there. With touchdown number two in the game and now 11 on the year. And the Bills have taken a two-touchdown lead now. Two able to connect on the extra point. And it's now 21-7. to seven. After the touchdown, Cook now to kick this one away. And it'll come out to the 25 as he will not attempt to return. Miami's offense set and ready to go. As this offense comes back out here, Charles, they're trailing in this ball game, And they've been on the sideline for a while. They did score their last time out, but they just had to watch that long, sustained drive. So we'll see if they can shake the rust off. Yeah, and that's always a, a question that you have when you have to come off the bench after having sat there for a long time. Are you ready to go? Are you loosened up? But even more so, are you mentally alert and ready to put your best product out there? 
Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half. I like their countenance. I like the way that they haven't panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They're starting to move the ball. And what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and ten. Here's Tua. Oh, and Tua going to be intercepted for the third time. And the Bills are in great shape here as they take over at their 46 yard line. Well, that's a drive killer right there. Not a really confident throw either. This one was kind of up for grabs, and it's going to come down the hands of the wrong team. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. They start near midfield following the interception as they begin first and ten. A really an excellent run. Sidestepping tacklers on his way to a pickup of eight. Right back to Singletary on second down. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. Six yards the pickup, and that's a first down. Allen. A quick throw going to be caught by Diggs. And he'll be hauled down at about the 30-yard line. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. So first and 10 now from the 30. Here's Allen to throw it. Forced out to his left. Looking for Diggs, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Javon Holland. The 30. 10. And he will bring it back. It's a pick six and a Dolphins touchdown. Extra point attempt to follow here. It's up and good. This becomes a 21-14 ball game now. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. Fielded right around the eight. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. And now out come the Bills. Remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go-around. Yeah, and sometimes, partner, I think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field. You're not over on the sidelines dwelling for it for very long. You're not hearing everyone say, hey, you'll get them next time. Hey, don't worry about it. All that stuff just goes right out the window. You're right back out on the field with a chance to atone. Willis takes a hit and the ball is free. And this is picked up by the Dolphins. And his guys are going to take over at their own 48-yard line. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. Here comes another drive from this unit. And Charles, they're coming off a costly mistake on the last possession. An interception in a game that is very close right now. Well, as we know, they all sting no matter what the situation. But in a one-possession game, that'll hurt a little bit more. But this is an excellent opportunity to make up for it on this drive. I just don't expect them to try and take huge gambles to make up that momentum in a hurry. 12 yards that time for number 12 as they move the chains. On first down, Tonga Bailoa. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Much like a running back going through the line, quarterbacks have to be aware of protecting the football as well. He left it exposed that time. Wound up having it knocked free, but fortunately, had an alert teammate who was able to get it. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. This offense so far on third down, two for five to this point. This is third and ten. They complete it to Hill. And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. And oh, it'll be intercepted. And the Bills are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. Now Willis on first and ten. 
There's Stephon Diggs for the catch on the slam. From the 29, Willis. Pryor has it complete. Catch number four for him on the afternoon, and it'll give him a first down. Willis will look to throw on first down. Caught right side, Davis. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. 12 yards that time, and a Bills first down. They go play action with Willis. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. It's a pickup of 12. Second play in a row with a 12-yard gain. So now first and 10 as they've crossed into Miami territory at the 39-yard line. Allen's throw is complete, and he's going to be taken down at the 28-yard line. Seems as if the passing attack starting to heat up a little bit here in the second quarter. You can sense and you can see the momentum because now they're reading their patterns downfield, they're understanding the coverages, and they're finding the open holes in the defense. Well, they don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. Coming up at halftime, I'll go from one personality, that's you, Charles Davis, to another one in Orlando, the coach. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL. You and Jonathan Coachman, both larger than life. No doubt about it. But you're stuck with me in this booth. <laughs> yes, and he's I miles am. away and smiling. And happy. To throw again on second down, Willis. And they're going to be set up now with the ball at the 13-yard line. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. That's complete right around the eight. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Well, they've gone to their fullback quite a bit. He'll get it again. Now another timeout called for by the offense as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Willis from the gun on third down. And it's caught. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. A chance to really cap off a big first half here as they come up on first and goal. They'll run it here. This is their fullback getting the carry. And he'll get it. way to a monster game three first half touchdowns and the Bills will extend their lead in the final minute of the half after the touchdown Cook now to kick this one away and he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25 the Dolphins taking over now late in this first half but not much time remains here in this first half. We'll see if they can get something out of this drive, at least a field goal. They could certainly use it down by two scores. Now here's a pass on first down. It's knocked away and incomplete. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Two are going to throw. That one complete to Hill. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 26 seconds to go until halftime. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down as they're able to convert, albeit not by much, on third and a yard. Two and a throw again. And going deep for Hill. And that is incomplete. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Looking to pass. Tua. Now they go screen. It's complete. Now a signal and a timeout call. As it comes with nine seconds to go in this first half of play. 
Throwing his tongue of Iloa on third down here. He finds his man complete. That's Black. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. So we've come upon halftime here in week 17.